Hey guys. Pixmar. That's not for Pixmar. I just recently got an email. <clears throat> I read out to you the text and email by a person who's a like a career's choice advisor. Who's told me something very, very interesting that I found. Hi Jimmy, I've amended your CV. You really need to find a job and get some experience. Your CV does not reflect that at the moment and you're fast becoming a person who will be hard to place into employment. She also sent me a text. You seriously need to get a job as you left school a while ago and have and done, not done anything substantial. If you do not find employment soon, employers will not want to employ you as you would have been out of work for a long time. So... Yeah. It's my life. Mm. In that song. And when you walk away and I see you. I'm probably butchering the lyrics. That's how I feel at the moment. That's how I feel. I don't even want a fucking job anyway. I want to be an entrepreneur, a tech entrepreneur. What the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? I'm not even learning code. I'm not learning programming. I'm not learning software development. I'm not learning mechanical engineering. I just... It's, wor it's worrisome. I admit it's worrisome. Probably can't go back to school. I'll be getting an apprenticeship. I don't see any friendships in sight. You might think, oh, since life is looking so down, the only way is up, right? I could go lower than this. That's the worrying part. I could go much lower than this. I'm worried for the future, guys. I'm very fucking worried. There's no safety net. And then I hear guys like Justin Waller say that safety, no safety net is a blessing in disguise. Doesn't feel like it. But would I have changed had I stayed in school? This is an issue. Like, a, it's just such a fucking stupid statement that pervades my mind. Destroys my conscience, man. It's literally, had I would I have stayed the same had I stayed in school, or barely changed? I, I think I would have just stayed the same, the same spurg. A lot of people that finish school are glad it's done, but if you quit school early, it's shunned and shamed upon. And I'm the idiot, right? Which I have a huge issue with. It's not nice being known as an idiot. Haven't been done anything substantial because of it this is since it. Check out what Paul has to say before journaling my thoughts, meditating, and reading more books. This reading books thing isn't profitable at the moment. I can't keep reading books. This, this unscripted book is probably the last book I'll probably read for a while. I, I'll have Atomic Habit and Meditation by Marcus Aurelius and. Uh, Awaken the Giant Within, Tony Robbins. I'll have all those books on the side, but I think Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I think that's a good book. I haven't given it a read yet, so that's not a recommended read by me. But I would recommend a Million of Fast Lane and it's unscripted MJ Marcus work. Um, I probably will get back to. I don't know, when you're in school, you're just allowed to be a fucking idiot. The safety net is actually thinner than a piece of paper. Teachers get paid 25 grand a year, which is a pretty good money for my age if I'm making 25 grand a year. But if you're 30, 40, make 25 grand a year, you've got serious issues, right? You need to pat the fuck up, as the British people would say. I. 
I feel great doubt. Seeds of doubt go into my mind. Your new entrepreneurship will be this stressful. I'm not doing enough entrepreneurship, so I'll probably put everything in line. And I you walk away and I see you. And when you walk away. Oh, well, my hair's really long now. It's hard to see. I probably will get a job. Friend told me a while back, please stop fucking around. I agree. I need to stop fucking around. With the YouTube shit, I need to take this more seriously. I need to make more, more videos. My work ethic is nothing short of embarrassing, if I'm honest. It's embarrassing, guys. I'm worried for the future, I'm worried for everything. Um, I saw the AT video, you know, everyone knows who the AT is, Andrew. He said, M um, men who do not get disciplined are intensely punished. And they're like, how so? Well, men who don't, do not get disciplined and men do not have, do, that do not have the ability to fo uh, think, to buckle up and focus up on one thing for a very, very long time, get incredibly punished by those around them, by life in general. Because men need to provide, right? So, I'm not a provider, I'm a freeloader, retard, lazy, fucking idiot. And I always say that's the beauty of being an idiot, right? Because if you're an idiot, then it's fine, because then you can learn. But without the safety net of school, without a safety net, no one's on your dick, no one's on your ass in school. Without the safety net of school, it's, it's difficult. Should have had income for like Imangaji. I should have had income before. Income before, looking out. All of those pointers of doing your own shit. What's the game? Nothing you have right now is finite, not infinite. One day everything's gonna change, forcibly. And I want people to understand that because the moment, the reality I live in the moment, my room and everything, you know, food on the table constantly, I don't have to worry about bills, I don't have to worry about rent, I don't have to worry about food, money. That reality is coming. Crashing down, increasingly fast. It's coming crashing down, increasingly fast, and I'm worried about it. I'm worried about the future, guys. No one cares but me. What is the best possible way with a chessboard? I can study the unscripted content. After that, I can study Henry Tate's content. I can do some emails quickly. Look through apprenticeships. Apply it a lot. If I can get the sales. The sales is good because you're commission based, right? And you can earn more. They have that voidless, emotionless stare that you see in them, like Sigma male videos. Alone, are you? I do feel alone. I do feel lonely. But I don't feel as lonely as I am worried. And I don't feel. I feel strangely fine. In honesty, I do feel worried and anxious about the future, but it's very slight, very slight, weird. I think everything will be fine. I need to get a job, I need to focus on entrepreneurship, focus on getting money. Money, right? Money. 
Can't give up on YouTube, the YouTube shit. What should I name this video? Watch me worry about the future. You're, you're, coming, you're becoming a person increasingly hard to employ. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't want you guys to just keep worrying or seeing me worrying. Because that's very un... I don't know, it's not unsatisfying. It's very ugly to look at someone worrying. But I want you to know that... I want you to know that just because you feel fine, nothing, everything's going to be... Not everything's going to be fine. Nothing's going to be fine. You have to work hard and to get rid of that fuck situation, right? You need to have achievements. That solidify the fact that you're okay. I'm I'm just deadpan staring at myself I'm like what the fuck? How do we get here? <sighs> if you feel fucked guys, know this, you can go lower, you could die. You become homeless, you could die. Check it out, serious get seriously fucked up. Seriously. I want this video to be a reminder, constantly. Not everyone is on the same path in life. Human Gazi at my age, he was already making like 5,000, 10,000 a month. Awesome shit. Crazy numbers, right? Me at my age, 17, making zero a month. Being a fucking idiot. Struggling. It made me so. I'm struggling. If I don't get out of the situation, I'm completely fucked. Completely. I want to do an apprenticeship. One money. Because money is one of those weird things where if you have enough of it, you can just. Tell everyone to go away, you know? What was it again? Um, someone's very smart said so like one time. It, no, it's not Andrew. It was like, money is the end or be all. And I, I repeat, I say that a lot, but it, it's not my original quote, I believe. I think someone has said it before me. But money is the end or be all. Like, go to school? Nah, got money. Get a job? Nah, got money. You know what I'm saying? Get a... Get a, a house on a mortgage? Nah, paying cash. Get a car on finance? Nah, I'm paying cash. Send your kids to school? Nah, or homeschool them. You know what I'm saying? Money is one of those weird things where it's the end will be all. So yeah. it's that, But the problem is, like, if you try to focus on money, you're usually eluded by it. You should rather focus on giving value and solving problems. Which is what I should do as well. <laughs> I'm going to go into a deep contemplation meditation session, probably like for half an hour. And just consider everything I've fucking done so far and make try and think about the best possible movie I can be just for thereafter. I think reading is a good thing, but I can't really read so much, right? At some point, you're just having a mental masturbation session because you're just reading all the time. Instead, you should be acting, action over everything. I want to take action. I'm not afraid of taking action. The question is how and where and what could get me paid. YouTube can get me paid. YouTube can get me paid. I probably should focus on YouTube, focus on editing. There's a lot of the current things in my life at the moment, and I need to buckle up on one or two, honestly. I like that plus, um, what was it again? The first man thing. Men should only focus on two different things at a time. Anyways, guys, I gotta go. Sayonara. Sorry for <laughs> what, letting you watch me worry, but it's the way it is. Sign on, catch you on the other side.